Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So in here what we want to do is improve our graphs a little bit more. So um, first of all what I want to do is let's increase the font size of this top part here. So we can do that by uh, going to the graph uh, class and down here where we have our text let's add some styles. So I'm going to add style and then put font size. Let's put 20 pixels and let's see how well that fares. Okay, so much, much better. Maybe we can do a bit more, maybe 26, I don't know. So. Okay, yeah, a bigger is better, why not? Mm -hmm. Maybe 24, that's a bit overboard. Then of course you can adjust the coordinates, the Y uh, coordinates here to get the best of whatever you want. Let me, um, let's try 2.5 here. I don't know if that takes it up or down. Okay, that's better. Go right in there. Mm -hmm. And then now what I want is down here to put a, a X, X title. Right, so let's go up here and let's put in, there's a title here, graph title, and then we can put one called X title for the X title. So here, um, I'll just say title X, right? Cause I don't have anything to put there. And then you can put uh, a title in the Y as well. But for this, this is not necessary because these are just values. So not really uh, that much. Okay. So X title, there we go. So let's go down here and just duplicate and give it an X title. So here we'll say graph title. I'm sorry, this is not the spelling for graph at all. Um, X, uh, what do you call this? This is the X, Y, there's a word I'm looking for. Oh my God, it's gone. Uh, it's the X axis. Oh yeah, X axis. <laughs> X axis title, right? So that's what we want. Now the Y of this should be the entire canvas, right? So we'll say canvas Y, not divided by two. We'll just leave it. Let's remove that division, but I know we need some math, so I'll leave the brackets. And then um, I want it to start somewhere in the middle, maybe the title. I don't know, maybe, maybe let's put a quarter of the width. So I'm going to do this. So I know the width of the whole thing is canvas X, right? And then what I'll do is canvas X, if I divide, no, let me divide it by four. So a quarter of that. Mm -hmm. And then I will put X title here because that's the one. So let's refresh and we don't see it. Mm -hmm. So maybe let's deal with the Y. Uh, let's divide that by two so that we can see it at least and then start moving it around. Uh, nothing. Hmm, interesting. Uh, this X title, what's going on? Let me go to the top here. X title exists. Hmm. Do we have an error? Yeah, there are some times uh, you may not see an error because of the nature of things here. So you may go to view the page source and then go down to where the graphs are. And if there are any errors, you will see them inside here. It's just that they won't show because when you echo something in a graph, it might not show as you think it will. So you can always check the page source for errors if they are there, but it doesn't seem like there are any errors here at all. 
so x y coordinates let's try um some hard coded values right oh this is a negative this is y sorry about that that's why it's not showing up ah there we go x title yes yes so of course we need more space on the y axis so what i'll do is down here where we are saying y plus that times two let's make it times a three let's see what that does ah, at least it gives us more room to maneuver maybe not times three maybe times 2.5 yeah something like that so it's not so big okay cool now that we have that space we can uh, put canvas y as it is and let's try that okay so it doesn't get to the end there so let's put canvas y plus extra right extra y whatever that extra we added there mm -hmm. we're almost there but uh, extra y doesn't just doesn't seem to cut it so hmm. i'm trying to avoid using plus uh, fixed values right but in this case let's do it let's just add a specific number maybe 20 pixels or so yeah maybe that works let's reduce the font size to something more reasonable like 16. okay mm -hmm. so then we can reduce this to 10. let's see that much better okay aha uh -huh. so now the x title can be added so we can come here and say uh, title here and just change that to x title and say instead of today's sales we'll say hours of the day okay let's change this one uh, x title and let's put um, this month sales which means this uh, days days of the month and let's do the same thing here months of the year so there we go months of the year as if anyone needed help in knowing what these are <laughs> but there we go so uh, days of the month month of the year i want this in the center so maybe if i let's go back to graph uh, on the x we divide by four we divide it by four right and then it got here Let's try and divide by three instead. One third of the distance. Yeah, maybe that's much better. You know, the correct way to do this would be to divide by two so that it starts right at the center here. So let me divide by two. If you really want to center it. So let's divide by two. Now the problem is it starts right at the center, but you want to offset this. So move this text a little bit this way so that the actual center is the center of the text. The only problem is um, you need to know how many pixels to move it this way. Now to do that, you can actually, let's do a little calculation here so I can show you what you might do. So we can say uh, text offset, maybe let's call it that offset is equal to so it's already on the center there but we want to know the length of this text and then divide that by two then let's shift it over by that amount so we'll look at the font size okay first of all let's look at the length of the text so here it is i'll copy that and say text offset is equal to length uh, string length like that and then that x title so now we know the length of the string now from the length of the string um, we need to know uh, okay let's divide this by two so that we know half of the text how much uh, string length divided by two right 
and then we multiply this by the pixel size. So the pixel size is 16. And that will give us our offset. So what we'll do with our offset is, let's do this. Because remember that uh, the reason why I'm multiplying by font size, remember that this font has a pixel size. Uh, that 16 pixels is how many pixels per font. So if there are 20 characters and each character has a, um, a pixel size of 10, it means they're occupying 100 pixels, right? That's how it is. So that's why I did that. And then once we get the half of the canvas, let's subtract the text offset. So let's see that. Oopsie, looks like it went too far, but that's generally the idea. So maybe we multiply by half the pixel size. I don't know why uh, it's not so precise, but yeah, at least we get around to that point. Looks like it works after all. So if I add more text here, let me just, let's say we add more text on days of the month, for example. Let me just add some random text just to see if it will move to the center, right? Days of the month, so refresh, and there we go. So you see it's centered, very nice. So I guess the key was to use half the pixel size there for some reason, instead of 16, because it's 16 pixels, so I just use half of it. Anyway, that's how you center your text if you want to center it. All right, so at least we have that. Maybe the pixel size isn't so good. This should be 16, 18. Let's move that to nine. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Much, much better. I like that a whole lot better. Now we need to add some text over here. Now to add text here could be simple because we already know the coordinates of the dots. So when we're adding these dots, we can actually add some values to that as well. So if we check here where we are adding the circles, where exactly are we adding those circles? Where is this poly circle? Right here. This is the loop that adds that. Yes, yes. Now, uh, we are looping through data and so we have values right here. So th this is very cool What we can do now is just duplicate this We already have the x-axis. So I'll do this And just remove the Extended we don't need our radius for text mm -hmm. We don't need any styles. Oh, maybe we do uh, just the font size, right? So I'll just say font size Let's try 14 pixels. No, 16 pixels. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. And this is supposed to be text, so I'm going to say text. And then I will close that text over here. Uh -huh. Then add the value, whatever value that is. Copy that and put it right here, like so. Bam. Okay, dokie. Pretty cool. Let's see what that does. Okay, so as you can see now, we have values on the dots themselves, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, you may not like the values being right here. Maybe you want them down here. So you just have to nudge them a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. And we have zeros here, which is not pretty. It doesn't look pretty. So what we do is we can say, let's put an if statement, right? The beauty of uh, coding. So we put an if statement and do this, PHP. And say if value, right? If value. Actually, we, we don't need to say if value is not equal to zero, right? Uh, actually, we need to because the value could be negative value, right? So that would be a problem. Would it? I don't know. Anyway, we can be explicit and say if its value is not equal to zero, then let's do this. So all I need to do here is put, oopsie, put an end if 
like that. So pretty good. So if it's not zero, do that. So the zeros are gone on the zero parts. We only want that. And then I want these a bit lower. So I'm going to use my Y axis. Uh, where is the Y? This one is the Y. So let's increase. Are we increasing or reducing the Y? Well, we are subtracting uh, here. So maybe we can increase. No. Not sure. Anyway, let's do some math. Let's add 10 just uh, as a, uh, oh, looky there. Working. Let's add 20. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so pretty cool. Yeah, so looking good. There's a number, there's a number, there's a number. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. So that at least you have precise values regardless what you see here. So as you can see, there's so much you can do uh, with all this. You can even put A tags on these values, right? Even change the font color. You can say fill, that's the font color, and put blue like this. So that uh, the text is blue like this, right? And also the circles, you can do the same thing and fill them with maybe pink, I don't know. You know, be creative and uh, make your graphs look nice. Okay, it's entirely up to you. Could be pink, could be red, uh, orange. You know, be creative and uh, make your graphs look cool. I think the gray was better. <laughs> yeah, gray was better. Maybe the dots are a little bit too much. Stroke width, let's try one. Wait. No, that's not what I need to change. It's the radius I need to change. So let me change that to six. Okay, much, much better. Okay, so there it is. Uh, as you can see, since we created these graphs uh, entirely from scratch, you can modify anything about this. If you don't like how these numbers are too many, you can check a limit. You can put a lot of your statements and do stuff. Uh, you can change it, check the limit and say if the numbers are more than 500 or they're more than 20 then instead of uh, then you can reduce the lines to half for example okay so instead of having the total number of lines as a specific number you can cut that in half okay so that way uh, you have more visual maybe the numbers can be like this so you can do so much with this but I don't want to, you to watch me do all that. Uh, this is just to give you an idea of what you are capable of doing. And also, by the way, if you don't want these um, uh, graphs that are straight like this, you want those that have curves like this, where the graphs are curvy, you can do that. Uh, if you go to the SVG tutorials, uh, instead of using a polyline, you can use a curved line, for example. There's uh, a path, I think, that's what it is. Let's click on path here and see. Yes, this is the one. Path is a little bit more complex, but if you really read up on it, you can uh, gain some insight. I actually used this once, and on my own graphs, I use this, but you know, it's been a while, so I don't want the hassle. Of... There's too much when you're using curves. There's curve to, line to, move to. So this is a straight line. It's moved to a straight line, there's a curve, and then there's a quadratic Bezier curve where you can tweak to see how much of the curve you can create. Uh, these are examples here. So if there's a point there, there's a point, and a point there, you can put a Bezier curve here. Uh, so knock yourself out and read about all these paths. Do some examples, try it yourself and see what works and what doesn't. You see, you can do it like this instead of adding points. So all this can work, uh, it's up to you. You can even put values on how much of a curve you want, etc., etc. So explore and uh, go ahead and make your graphs look even better. All right, so I think this does it for our graph uh, section here and I will see you in the next video.